we have the cave we're doing today, St. Herman's where you can do cave tubing, you can do exploring like from entrance to exit is about a mile long that's a completely different tour, you wear helmets and you hike through the entire system of the cave also in that same cave you're allowed going 200 yards without guide it's one of the few cave systems that you can do self-guided you ever had termites before? yeah they're minty, you want to taste them? No, they're minty <laughs> They have the minted taste because of the the debris, the, the 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 woods they get, you know. And then third, we have the crystal cave. The crystal cave is a dry cave, you know. Is that is that a beautiful cave system? A little challenging, you know. You do a lot of crawling, a lot of hiking. The entire tour, you know, takes about six hours. You would start like around nine o'clock, you know. Sometimes you come back like three or four o'clock. Totally muddy. It's like spelunking, but it's a very interesting cave, you know. Um. You would even find skeletal remains from sacrifices that the Mayans con uh, conducted inside the cave. So it was highly occupied by the ancient Mayas. Very interesting. As we walk, let's stay low. Watch your heads, okay? We have crickets, we have millipedes, centipedes, little lizards, no snakes, okay? So nothing to worry about. Nothing that, that you need to that you need to be scared of, okay? The, all these caves are, are limestone caves we have. We have approximately 65% of limestone rock in Belize, uh, which is mainly found in what we know as the Maya mountains, this huge mountain range right here. You know. um, limestone is a, is a sedimentary rock com composed largely of aragonite and calcite, which are different crystals formed of calcium carbonate. Limestone is composed of skeletal fragments of marine organisms such as corals. So it is highly believed that this whole area may have been underwater for at least three times in history. When all this water receded, it left behind the corals, marine shells. With time, you know, pressure and chemical process turned these skeletal remains into cemented rock, into limestone rock. Right. Stalactites coming down, stalagmites going up. So the entire float will take us between 45 minutes to an hour and it's totally in the cave, totally inside. We do have uh, bats, we have fruit bats, we have insect bats, they're very tiny. You see a lot of current, look at the amount of water coming through that hole. This is all spring water which comes from the, the Pine Ridge area. We see some rounded holes in the ceiling, black holes. The black stuff, bad poo, bad, bad guano, which starts to be acidic and eats the limestone rock. It formed those holes. And um, sometimes we would find bats inside, more likely they would be flying around because of lights and the, our lights and, and the noise we carry, right? So they kind of fly around, but they'll never touch you, okay? Water dripping from these stalactites was considered holy water and they would store it in pots. They would store fermented wine. It's believed that when the Mayans came in here, they weren't on their five senses. They consume alcoholic beverages. You know, they believe that drunkenness was connected with a widespread, with a widespread practice of divination, which was a ritual act that would allow them to have a direct connection with supernatural forces. So they would get drunk, they would smoke, they would eat mushrooms that would make them hallucinate. And most of the religious rituals that took place inside caves was done to chat the rain god. Now, eventually they end up doing the, the, the sacrifices, which was n relatively rare in the ancient Maya culture. So in very few caves, you can find human remains in very few caves. 